gonna stop already? Hello everybody, today I'm gonna be doing my October favourites. My mentions have been full of you all going. Hurry up and do your October favourites, I'm really excited to see what you have been loving this month. So, I'm gonna do that for you now because I'm just so nice. Okay, let's start with products, beauty products. The first thing I have been really enjoying is the Sunday Riley Blue Moon Cleansing Balm. I absolutely love Sunday Riley as a brand. I use a lot of their skincare and although it is slightly more on the pricey side, it really works for me and I'm okay with spending a little bit more on my skin because I only get this face once, you know? No, what's the saying? This is my only face. This is all I got. This is the only skin I've got to live in. I don't know, I'm great at these life mottos. <laughs> Let me just read you the back because I feel like the back of a packet is the best way of explaining something, let's be honest. This luscious soft blue cleansing balm easily removes, removes impurities and makeup to leave the skin thoroughly clean, comfortable, hydrated and glowing. With therapeutic essential oils of vanilla, tangerine, sweet orange, chamomile and blue tansy to restore dry dehydrated skin, Balanced with a softening base of luxurious organic cocoa and moringa butters, this melting balm gives skin a tranquil, pure, healthy cleanse. That is what it does. I'm almost out. I've used like I would say half, but I've gone, I've gone right into the middle. You see, I know that would really annoy some people because some people like to actually work their way around a product, but I just go. It's quite like bitty, and before I actually rub it onto my face, and I do put this onto dry skin. I use it to remove makeup and I also use it just to cleanse if I've got no makeup on. Um, but I do have to rub it between the palms of my hands to kind of melt it a little bit more before I put it on my skin, which is fine, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, and it smells kind of odd. I mean, all of Sunday Riley's products don't have like a perfumed kind of scent in them, they're all kind of natural scented. So some people are kind of put off by that. I don't mind it because I actually really enjoy the product. I do think it smells, however, of, you know when you open up like a tin of roses or a tin of Quality Street or a tin of Celebrations at Christmas and stick your nose in it, you get kind of a mixture of the, the plastic on the wrappers and the chocolate and I feel like that's what this smells like. I just, I mean, I enjoy cleansing my face, I enjoy removing my makeup and I've just thoroughly enjoyed this. I feel like I've had less dry patches on my skin, so I do feel like this has improved that. And I, I don't know, I've just really enjoyed using it and my skin has really enjoyed using it. And I have certain areas with like pigmentation or scarring from previous blemishes and spots and things, and I feel like this has toned that down a little bit. Um, I am still using the Emma Hardy one as well. I kind of use both, but I've been reaching for this one a little bit more at the moment, which is why I wanted to put it in my faves. The next thing is also skincare, and this is the Origins Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask to Clear Pores. I really like this mask. I, I enjoy face masks anyway, um, when I actually remember to use them, but I have been reaching for this a lot. Active Charcoal acts like a magnet to draw out deep dwelling pore cloggers. They sound scary. Can <laughs> you imagine like a deep dwelling pore clogger? White china clay absorbs environmental toxins. Use once a week. Um, I have been pretty much using this once a week, or as needed it says. Um, so if you are having a particularly bad skin week, maybe use this twice. I don't know, I just really, really like it. I like how my skin feels afterwards. Um, and maybe this is also one of the reasons why a lot of my blemishes have disappeared recently. So. Yeah, I really like it. I feel like it's one of those really nice masks that you can use with like your mates when they come around and you all look a bit scary, you know? I did actually post a picture of me wearing this and everyone was like, you look like the moon emoji. So yeah, if you wanna look like the moon emoji, <laughs> this is perfect. Went a little OTT on the eye makeup today because it's dark and dreary and I was like, do you know what? I feel like my face wants to party. So I put a bit more on and now I'm kind of regretting it because I feel like I look like I am dressed to go on a night out rather than in my little cosy sweater. Next is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. I actually haven't done too much research on this. I received it in my PO box and I have been using it and I really, really love it. 
I don't know what's in this to make it magic foundation, but I feel like it's pretty magic because when you put it on, your skin looks amazing. It's everything I could ever want in a foundation. It has great coverage, medium to buildable. It does not make me feel as though my face is going oily in patches. It also doesn't feel dry on the skin. It's just overall a really nice foundation and it has lovely little pump on it which is always a plus for me a nice little rose gold cap not that the cap is anything to go by but you know how much i love rose gold i find putting it on easy um and it lasts well so if you're on the lookout for a new foundation maybe give this a try this next thing was featured in my last video in my lush haul and it is christingle Body conditioner, a breath of crisp spearmint fresh air for skin with nourishing muru muru and shea to condition. Shea butter, shea butter. Never used a body conditioner before. Didn't even know they existed. Wasn't really sure how I was supposed to use this as part of my like shower routine. But um, all you do is massage it over wet skin and rinse off as you would with a hair conditioner. So before I used this, I did wash and then I used this afterwards. Um, I used a fairly kind of non-scented, I think it was Yes to Cucumbers, which does smell of cucumbers, but it's not like super strong in scent, um, so that I could really reap the benefits of this. And uh, I just really like this. I think it's brilliant. Firstly, it just smells amazing. I think it's a lovely minty smell. I'm really loving minty smells at the moment. Um, I've also gone back to loving Tic Tacs, that's a whole, that's, I mean, that's not relevant, but I just thought I'd let you know that. You kind of put this on and it feels really lovely on your skin and you're like, oh, this is nice, I like this. And then when you wash it off and you get out the shower, you feel as though you've already moisturized. So I have actually not been moisturizing when I get out of the shower, which to be honest is a job that I hate doing. And any of you that say you enjoy it, I bet you're lying because I hate moisturizing my body. In the winter months, when you get out of the bath, you get out of the shower and you're like, it's cold and I want to put my pajamas on, then I want to get into my bed with my heated blanket, that is also, I mean that should be in my favourites too because I love a heated blanket, it's amazing, it's the best thing ever, you guys need to look at one. Sounds like I'm a 90 year old woman, I think deep down I actually am, but they're so good because you turn them on as you're like getting ready for bed, doing your kind of nighttime skincare regime, by the time you actually pull back the covers to get into bed, it's warm already for you. It's the best thing ever. Alfie hates it, but we've got like a dual one, so his doesn't need to be turned on. Mine's always on, but he thinks it's stupid because then I get too hot. <laughs> anyway, I digress, as I usually do in these videos. Chris Dingle is amazing. I love it. I think you'll love it if you like this sort of thing. If you feel, if you want to feel as though your skin is moisturised and that you don't have to moisturize or put as much moisturizer on after your shower. I mean, it is good to moisturize, let's be honest. I'm just lazy when it comes to things like that, so I often forget. But this does make my skin feel so incredibly soft. But also, it's just a really lovely extra thing to do in the shower. I just, I feel, it, I don't know, just, I like it. it. Smells amazing and because it's minty, it kind of gives you a little bit of like a wake up in the shower, which I quite like. So I, I'm digging this. I really, really like it. This next thing might seem quite random, and I'm pretty sure I talked about the Library of Fragrance quite recently um, in one of my favourites videos, but I'm loving a different fragrance this month, and it is gingerbread. You might see this on the shelf and be like, well, who wants the smell of gingerbread? That's just really weird, right? Maybe. <laughs> I'm, I mean, I haven't quite worked that out yet, but I've been wearing it, and no one said I smell strange. Um, so, mm. this smells like everything great at Christmas time. Everything great at Christmas time that you can eat. And that is why I absolutely love it. However, it is a scent that you can wear. I know a lot of you could be thinking, oh, that's a bit strange Zoe, like walking around wanting to smell of gingerbread man. But it, it has a lot more to it than that. And if you don't want to spray it on yourself, you can spray this on lots of other things. Like you could use it as a room spray. I mean, it's a pretty expensive room spray, but I don't know. I just really, really like it. So, if you ever are passing, I think they sell these in boots. They probably sell them in lots of places, to be honest. They also have them online. Um, but give this one a sniff and uh, let me know what you think because I think a lot of you will really, really like it. It's just, it's Christmas in a bottle, to be honest. But wearable and unisex too. So, loving that. Next thing is another minty item. Um, as you can see, I have a bit of a theme. 
say that, I mean two of the items have been minty, but whatever. <laughs> so I placed a Yankee Candle order online not too long ago because Anna did a Yankee Candle haul. And of course I love candles, so watching someone do a Yankee Candle haul is very dangerous for me because it does mean I'm gonna go on over and order some, which is what I did. Um, one of them, I don't know if Anna actually ordered this one, but I saw it on the website, maybe she did. I can't remember. And it's called Candy Cane Lane. Um, and I, to be honest, wasn't really that excited about it. Thought it sounded really nice going along the sort of minty route and you guys know I love my white company mint candle for the summertime and I was like, oh, do you know what? Candy canes are kind of nice. I like the smell of candy canes. Let's see what it smells like in a candle. So I got it and let me tell you, it's amazing. I love this candle a lot. It has a very sweet candy cane like smell. Um, as you would imagine that it would. The only difference between, I think, Yankee Candles and Bath and Body Works candles is I feel like Yankee Candle scent is a lot more subtle. Um, it's definitely one of those candles that you can burn and every now and then you'll get a whiff of it, but you'll leave the room and when you come back in, you're like, it smells amazing in here, but it's not necessarily hovering around constantly, which I guess for some people is actually more of a pro than a con. Um, it, depends, it depends how you light your candles, to be honest. I feel like everyone needs to have this candle in their life. That's it. Get it. Merry Christmas. Moving on to slightly more random things. I have been loving Kath Kidston's Christmas range. So I've been doing a little bit of Christmas shopping online and just kind of checking out different websites and different shops and seeing what, I mean to be honest I'm looking for Christmas jumpers and I know that Sometimes Kath Kidston do quite nice Christmas jumpers. So I was looking for that. And as I was just scrolling through their Christmas section, I was like, damn, I really like their Christmas prints this year. I don't know what their prints were last year, I'll be honest, they could be exactly the same. But I really love their prints. So um, I got some things. When I say some things, I mean a fair few things in the print. Um, I got a tablecloth. Um, I've got a uh, tea towel, <laughs> like look how cute this is, right, it's a little Christmas town, look at it, so they have like a more kitsch um, design which is this one, and then they have, oh actually this is probably the best way to show you because I bought two stockings, so this is the more kind of kitsch design and it's the Christmas town which reminds me of Winter Wonderland, like a cute little Winter Wonderland or a little like Christmas market, it's just really cute. Um, so I have that. Not too sure who is gonna get that at the moment, but one of these is for Louise. Um, and then there's a more ditzy print, and this has got little fawns and Christmas trees and a little Santa and a little dog. And they're just really cute. I've also bought gift wrap, um, a lanyard for my keys, um, a phone case a few tote bags, <laughs> basically went Kath Kidston Christmas crazy. I also got this which I absolutely love and I haven't fully filled it in yet but um, I wanted to show you because I feel like this is the perfect time of year to get something like this. It is a Kath Kidston Christmas organiser for organising Christmas. <laughs> so I'll just show you what's inside shall I, I know you're all desperate to see. So you've got pages for to-do lists. You've also got blank pages, oh, we've got grids for to-do lists, in case you prefer a grid style. Blank pages to draw or write or stick things in. Um, then you've got Christmas card section, so you fill in the name and address of people that you wanna send cards to. Um, presents, I've listed everyone's names on here so far. So you write their name and then you write the present that you've got them or the present that you want to get them. I have a fair few pages of these. I have a lot of people to buy for this year. God damn. And then more presents. Um, a section of to buy, so things you still need to get. Conversion tables, cooking times, measurements, things like that. Menu planner, very interesting. Guest name and dietary requirements, how good is that? Um, and then you've got recipe, pages to stick recipes in, and then notes at the end, and I believe, yep, some little stickers. So, yep, Kath Kidston Christmas, check it out online. Really good stuff. 
Okay, two randoms left, which I don't have anything to show you for them. Um, but the first one is a YouTuber, and he is called Mark Ferris. And I have been watching him now for about four or five months. I can't actually remember. I found his video because he reviewed my beauty products. And when I was watching him, I was like, this guy reminds me of me. I don't know what it was. I think we like a lot of similar things. And I just feel like he has a really positive, happy energy. And I thoroughly enjoy watching his videos. I can't remember how many subscribers he has, but he gets around like 500 views a video, um, which personally I think is nowhere near as many as he deserves. He's kind of like my little like hidden gem. I just really enjoy his videos. Um, but I feel like a lot of you would enjoy them as well. He does favorites videos. He he does a bit of everything, which is why I really like him. I also got to meet him this month. I'll put a little pic here. Because I invited him to my book launch and um, it was so lovely to meet him. And I just, I don't know, like, you know when you watch someone's videos and you just know how passionate they are and how positive and happy and uplifting he is. Like, he just, I don't know, when I watch his videos, I just instantly feel happy and content and I and I really like that when I find someone's videos who makes me feel like that I'm like yes love it go them I'm gonna leave a link to his channel in the description box so make sure you go on over subscribe to him say hey be nice um, he is just such a lovely lovely guy and I really do feel like a lot of you will enjoy his videos as well another person I am loving at the mo is Adele I just love her um, her new song, when it came out, hello, for any of you that don't know, it sounds, it sounds like I'm like saying hi to you, that's the name of her song. I had it on repeat, like, all day, and I'm, I'm not just saying that, I actually did. I had people in my house all day who had to listen to it with me all day, but I think they actually liked it, so that's fine. Apart from Joe, who did, it, who did actually get a little bit sick of listening to it on repeat. It's just amazing, it makes you feel all the feels, I'm so excited for her album. I'm just so happy she's back. She is one of my favorite singer-songwriters ever. And um, I'm just so excited for her to be back. And I'm really excited for all her new music. I think it's gonna be amazing. I love everything she stands for. I just, I love her as a human being. And I am sharing my um, love for her with you. There's no point me telling you to go listen to the song because all of you will have already listened to it and I'm sure all of you love it just as much as I do. So that is everything for my October favourites. I hope you have enjoyed this video. As always, don't forget to leave in the comments anything you've been loving this month, any other YouTubers you think I would like to watch. I would love to hear your suggestions. Um, as much as I love watching all my friends, I like discovering new YouTubers to watch as well because I still enjoy watching YouTube just as much as making videos. <laughs> if I'm not making videos or doing other things, I'm gonna be watching YouTube because YouTube is just the best. Thank you so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you very much and I will see you next week. Bye. Uh, yeah, end video. Thank you so much for, oh. a long freaking neck. Put me in amongst giraffes, you would literally not be able to tell which one was me and which was a giraffe.